I do a little bit of a video with you because it makes me feel kind of better to talk to you guys and I have some products I want to talk to you about. One is something that has probably been reviewed around. I know my favorite YouTuber, my inspiration, has done this product and I thought we'd start with that because the other one I kind of want to do with my husband. I found some, I think... Uh, this one is made, I think they might mo both be made in Korea, actually. This one might be Japan. Yep, yeah, this is made in Korea. And this one is also made in Korea. So they're both Oriental brands. And I found them, of all places, London Drugs. I was just like, not TNT Market or anything like that. London Drugs. I was like, yes! <gasps> must try this. I know this is not the charcoal mask that has been going around, but I was kind of excited because this has been going around YouTube quite a bit. The put it all over your face, the charcoal peel off mask. And I'm like, let's see what this one's like. I thought we'd all do this together with my ever loving guest star of a husband and see how that goes. Today I'm wanting to do this puppy here which is the carbonated bubble clay mask. <gasps> Woo! I just felt the need to pamper myself today because I am beyond exhausted. It is like close to the end of my day from waking up at four o'clock to being almost six o'clock. Time to take this off and I thought I'd do a little bit of a review with you guys. Uh, see the magic as it happens. Because I am tired, my head hurts, and it is bad pregnancy day for me and I just need to pick me up and talking with you guys and reviewing products and Putting funky things on my face is totally part of that. So exciting! I absolutely love the packaging. That is one thing about it that is just, I like this little piggy. I'm sorry if I am so out of it. I've like had a sugar high and then a sugar crash and a potentially sugar high today. So, I am totally running on a deficit. So, to the good stuff, which is pampering thine self. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just going to throw this stuff around. Sounds great. So, this is the bottle. So cute. So what I'm going to do is go wash my face, take all of this junk off, and we are going to put this on, on camera, with you, and watch the magic. Because this is supposed to foam, and when I was watching uh, Tati's video, I will try and find a link for it below so you guys can go and watch hers as well, and see what she thinks of it. But when I watched her video, it really did like foam up and it was all bubbly and it just looked hilarious. And I'm like, I think that would feel so cool having that on your face, getting all bubbly and foamy. But I will be back with you guys. It's time to take it off and not feel so, maybe revive my skin. <laughs> feel a little better about myself. And, uh,. Yeah, season. All right, so we are all clean faced. Now we can get into this. I love opening packages. Feels like Christmas. Oh, oh, it kind of leaked all over my lid. Comes with a nice little spatula. For probably doing it all over your face. So totally keep the top part because it's for storing your mispuchula on. Okay. This is maybe done better in a bathroom. 
Holy Dinah. That, oh. <laughs> Watch. It's like all gel-like and very, very goopy. Smells interesting. Not like mud. It almost smells like spa. And it actually looks really foamy. When you look in there, it already looks super foamy. So I'm going to place that back on top there. And we're going to read the instructions a bit here. So spread product evenly across the face, away from eyes, nostrils, and lips. So, you know, keep this area clean, this area clean, and you can put it here and here, but make sure you're not, like, getting it all over your lips and in your mouth. That would be very unsavory. After the creamy texture turns into fizzling, looks like it's fizzling, but... Fizzing foam, massage for two to three minutes and rinse with warm water. Product tends to be sticky when washing off, but the results will be amazing. So apparently when washing it off, it might be sticky. Do not use product in sunlight. Ah, also not for sensitive skin. These are the cautions. It's not for sensitive skin. Stop use if skin gets irritated. Do not use product in sunlight. Do not use on open wounds or any skin conditions. So if you have like uh, eczema on your eyelids, which you wouldn't be putting them there, wouldn't be putting it there anyway because you're supposed to avoid the eye. But you know, sensitive skin, yeah. Like it says, skin conditions. So maybe if you have rosacea or something like that, don't use it because it could potentially be irritating. Mm, this product does have sulfates in it. It has parabens, fragrance, charcoal powder, collagen, xanthan gum. Ooh, chamomile. So, and rosemary leaf extract, lavender. So it's supposed to be soothing. It's really good for you. It's probably going to clean out your pores because it is uh, clay-based, I believe. It has charcoal powder in it. So, again, we're doing like... Essentially, it's not a charcoal mask, but we're doing a charcoal mask. Um, charcoal is, I guess, as far as I can tell, good for cleaning out your pores. So this is going to be a good uh, pore cleaning mask. So what we're going to do is... Got a little on my fingers here. I'm going to be looking in my mirror over here just to let you know. And take my spatula. Mmm. And just... Oh! Oh, this is so thick. Oh, my gosh. First thoughts, it is so gloopy sticking it on this skin. Like, oh my gosh. It feels like rubbing paste. Or, uh, if you've ever seen, like, a putty or something, that's what this essentially feels like. I'm putting all over my face. I'm trying to move relatively fast so that it's not... Because I think it's already starting to foam up while I'm putting this on my face. Ah! You want to make sure after you're done putting it on, you seal your jar right away so that, because I, I don't know if this is strictly face activated or air activated or what, but we're going to put a nice layer on our face and then maybe just sit here together and watch as the magic foam happens. Oh. Like I said, I think it's already starting to foam. Okay, everything is off my spatula, onto my face. We'll call it pretty much on my face. As you can see, it's already, compared to when I first put it on, when it was just like a gloop, it is starting to look a little foamy. It feels super cooling, which is really nice right now. <sighs> that just, I wish I'd done more of my nose but oh yeah no look at that look at that foaming action looking at it in the mirror it's just oh the texture is totally changing my face is like feels like it's ballooning out but it feels so nice on this skin right now cooling kind of relaxing is a good word the spell is definitely almost spa like which is also super nice <sighs> Honestly, this is just what I needed today. Nice little relaxing, pampery, foamy mask. Ooh, look at the top there. That is, 
It's even as it foams, it kind of changed color because it was like a steel gray and now it's more of a light dark gray on when you looked at it in the jar and it's so much lighter in the foamier section. Though that's weird that my forehead is more foamy than the rest of my face. Maybe I put too much on my forehead. Another weird fact about this mask is I can literally hear it bubbling. I'll get really close to the camera here and just look at that. It is so foamy up there, this bottom part. Not so much, it is foamed, but not like my forehead. Maybe it's because the thickness up here is so much more than the thickness down here. This is a thinner layer, this is a thicker layer. So it's much more carbonate and foamy. I don't know what they put in here to make it foam like this. But I like it. I like it a lot. It just, it feels super tingly. Almost as if there's peppermint in here. There is. Peppermint leaf extract. Ooh. So this is how it gets so foamy. Carbonated water. So it turns from a creamy texture, which I do agree. That was a very creamy, gel-like, kind of almost gloopy mask texture to this foamy, especially on my forehead. feel like what we can do is rub this into the face now. And we do that for one to two minutes and then rinse with warm water. Oh, and when you start rubbing the foam into the face, so it bubbles up and feels really weird and very, listen, <sighs> the texture totally changes when you push the bubbles down. So it goes from like a creamy texture to a foamy texture, back to, I call it more of a traditional clay max, mask texture, but when it's foaming, it feels really light and cooling and tingling. If you like that pepperminty feel, it is definitely your thing because it just feels so glorious. And now it just feels like a clay mask on your face. As you can see, it even breaks down to be very clay-like. You can really rub it in and this will really help do like the pore cleaning. Now of course I would, if you're wearing makeup I would wash your face off before doing this of course. But it will also probably help really clean your face if you have any makeup foundation left on your face it'll really clean it off. Or it's just a nice thing to do if you hadn't even worn makeup. So we are going to go rinse this stuff off and then come back and finish off the rest of our face routine. Alright, so we are all clean. The mask is all off. Ugh, it was definitely a glorious mask. My face feels so refreshed. I feel so refreshed and just revived right now. It was very nice. It is definitely a very thick mask um, and I used a washcloth to take it off but oh my gosh my skin kind of feels like soft and smooth and just refreshed. I am going to go in with um, my favorite toner right now which is the Garnier Active Marcella Water. This one for all skin types even sensitive. I like the pink one. They do have some other colors. They have like a green one, more of a, this is, I definitely call this the pink one. And they have a blue one, which I really want to try because it has oils in it, which is supposed to help remove your waterproof makeup. But I'm going to go in and tone. So it helps to go in with a washcloth to take off that mask because it is definitely super thick, very gloopy, which is not bad. And what I also found while I was taking it off and wringing out my cloth, the water got all foamy, like there was soap in it. It just it feels so clean and refreshed and my skin feels so revived and yet calmed and you know, very nice. It is a mask that I would highly recommend. It definitely get top ratings from me. I will definitely use it again and again until it's gone. I may even try to 
repurchase it. It felt so glorious, made me feel so glorious after my rotten day. Well, not really rotten day, just really long, super tiring day. And this is a lovely ending. And then I'm going to go in with my lotion, and it's definitely hydrating, which I like in a night mask, because that's when, or sorry, a nighttime lotion, because that's when your skin is rejuvenating, especially with your sleeping. Most of your healing and repairing is done at night, so I like using a nice and sometimes an oil, nice thick lotion, a very hydrating lotion, and sometimes uh, an oil, my favorite is the Kiehl's, in order to really repair my face. And a nice mask like this one is also really good. So, and then eye lotion, and we are done. It's like a 10 out of 10 for masks, because it is just so glorious so fun. I just, I love the fact that it bubbles up like that. It's carbonated and then you smooth it into your face and it becomes this thick gel-like clay mask that when you go to wash it off with warm water, as if you don't need to wash your face before using the mask to take your makeup off, because it just feels like you've washed your face after using this mask. It is that glorious. This was a super fun mask. So worth the purchase. Makes you feel fantastic and just refreshed. And that is it for the carbonated bubble mask. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put goop all over my face and see the foaminess. If you guys buy this and try it out, please do tell me about it. I will again try and find that video from Tati and link it in the description box below so you guys can see what hers is. Please do thumbs this video up so that I know you enjoy it. I can make more videos like this if you like me reviewing products for you. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you all later. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye! Mm.